for our special offering then. Quarter C, quarter ta. Today, Sonia has moved over to the big ball to tell us about expectations from the outer space. Sonia. Well, at the onset, let me tell you that the auto index has significantly outperformed the headline Nifty this year. While the Nifty is up 8% in 2023 so far, the auto index is up a whopping 24%. Now, this is largely because there has been a recovery in volumes and strong margins which have aided stocks. So, let's start with the results calendar first, which is on your screen. Uh, in July, we have companies like Ashok Leyland, TVS Motor, Maruti, Tata Motors that will be reporting their earnings. Uh, you know, on the dates uh, mentioned on your screen. So what can we expect from the earnings this time around? Now, Q1 FY24 will be a good quarter for the auto sector. Brokerage firm Jefferies is expecting the Q1 aggregate revenues to rise 16% year-on-year, boosted by higher prices that the companies have undertaken. Passenger vehicles and two-wheeler wholesales grew about 9 to 11% year-on-year in Q1, which was very good. While truck and tractor wholesales declined about 1 to 7%. So that was one pocket that didn't look very good. Brokerage firm Motilal Oswal says that exports seem to have largely bottomed out for the sector. Now, the big positive this time is the margin improvement for the sector on the whole. EBITDA margins will improve for the fifth consecutive quarter in a row for the auto universe. In fact, Jeffrey says that the aggregate EBITDA is expected to rise a 49% year on year. Let's move on to some stockwise expectations now. Tata Motors has been the biggest auto gainer this year and the company is expected to report its third consecutive quarter of a consolidated profit while the company has already guided for Jaguar Land Rover's free cash flow to hit £400 million plus in Q1 of FY24. For players like m and there is very strong volume growth in the auto segment due to improving supply chain as well as stable tractor volumes year on year. That will aid the business. Morgan Stanley says that m and is likely to see the sharpest margin expansion amongst all the four-wheeler players. And finally, for two-wheelers like TVS Motor, the domestic two-wheeler volumes witnessed a sharp growth this time, up almost 30% year on year, but exports were still under stress as volumes declined 33% year on year. Well, we have Aniket Matre, uh, who tracks the space very closely at HDFC Securities, who joins us now to talk about that. Aniket, uh, you know, you just heard out what the overall expectations are, but you tell us, um, you know, what is the, uh, you know, what is the, you know, um, the pros and cons this time, which would be the hits, which could be the misses in this quarter's numbers? Sure. Hi, good morning, Sonia. Uh, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, so, uh, just to set the context right, uh, uh, you know, let me uh, just take you quickly through the volumes that have been reported so far at an industry level, right? Uh, so, passenger vehicles uh, have grown almost uh, 9% year on year this year, but utility vehicles within that have grown almost 17%, which means that the UV mix within passenger vehicles has now improved to 54%. And if you look at players, Maruti and m, &M have clearly gained market share uh, in, in the first quarter uh, and they continue to gain share to the extent that Maruti is now the market leader uh, and has recovered back to 23% market share in UVs. Uh, they have been, uh, you would be aware, they have been targeting 25% market share this year. Uh, they are already 23% by Q1. Uh, in two-wheeler space, uh, you have seen a 10% volume growth in the first quarter, uh, but motorcycles have done better at 14% volume growth uh, related to scooters who have uh, delivered a 5% growth. Within motorcycles, uh, Hero Motor Park continues to lose market share. It is at a decadal low of almost 45%. And the primary reason for that has been the fact that uh, the entry level category is just not uh, improving. Uh, and I mean, uh, Hero is at the moment losing market share in the 125cc category. Uh, and Bajaj and TVS, on the other hand, have gained uh, market share uh, in the uh, in the in Q1. Bajaj market share has moved to 19%, while TVS has moved to 10%, uh, uh, close to 11%, uh, which is a record high for TVS as well. Uh, in commercial vehicles, uh, commercial vehicle sector per se has sort of delivered a 3% decline over a high base, and of course, fourth quarter pre-buy has also led to subdued volumes for Q, uh, CVs in Q1. Uh, within that, MHCVs have declined, uh, have grown about. Two and a half percent. LCVs has declined six percent. Uh, within that, Tata Motors has actually lost market share across the board. Uh, right, like you rightly pointed out, this year on a year-on-year -year basis, all the players who will uh, see a very phenomenal margin improvement for the simple reason that last few quarters we have been seeing raw material uh, decline. Right, uh, most mm -hmm. of the key raw materials have declined anywhere between five to twenty-two uh, percent over on a YOY basis. So. Th on a YOI basis, you will see all players uh, reporting very healthy margins. Uh, but on a sequential 
basis, uh, you will see uh, players like uh, two wheelers or even uh, passenger vehicles report a marginal improvement uh, on the relative oh. basis. Uh, so, sure. Yeah. Particularly for Tata Motors, I wanted your thoughts because the stock has already rallied about 60% this year and yeah. the company has already given that guidance, right? Of free cash flow, yeah. 400 million pounds plus. Uh, so you think all the good news is in the price or is there anything that can positively surprise in this quarter's numbers? Right. Uh, so Tata Motors, if you see uh, in JLR, uh, for instance, they have already uh, seen a sequential uh, uh, flat volumes, which is which was exactly in line with their guidance. Uh, if you compare the FCF relative to the FCF they reported Q4, uh, uh, they are guiding for an FCF closer to 400 million GPP, uh, while they are reported somewhere closer to 800 million GPP, if I'm not mistaken, in Q4, which would mean that you know margins could be a bit under pressure uh, on a QOQ basis is given that JAG mix is slightly higher on a QOQ basis and even the higher profitable models which is RR and RR Sport are also relatively lower in terms of mix in Q1. Uh, so on a relative basis you will see some margin dip and possibly there, there could be some adverse movement in terms of working capital. And as I said in CV, in uh, way back in India in commercial vehicles uh, they have underperformed the peers which would mean the margin improvement may not be, may not be to the tune uh, we might uh, witness in Ashok Leland. So uh, given the stock movement clearly uh, I think I think the uh, good news is already in the price. Uh, we at the moment have a reduced rating on Tata Motors. Reduced rating on Tata Motors. The good news, good news is already in the price. Uh, uh, you know, I expected that from you. But just one final question. You know, we had a, a very extensive uh, EV discussion a while back. I don't know if you had a chance to listen into it. But the sum and substance is that EV penetration is rising in India, and there is a lot of untapped potential, right? Especially in the charging infrastructure space. Uh, which are the companies, if you had to identify three or four, where there is still more uh, earnings growth because of the EV penetration? So if you look at EV penetration, clearly one of the players clearly, which is, uh, you know, uh, much ahead of peers is clearly Tata Motors, right? Because Tata Motors has... Uh, uh, with its group companies, uh, all all of it in one place, right? Even the charging infra with the help of ta uh, Tata Power, for instance, uh, they are setting up a, bat uh, a battery assembly plant within the group again. Uh, so, and, and they have uh, their own uh, uh, component players as well in Tata Autocom, etc. So, the ecosystem per se, uh, from a readiness perspective, I think Tata Motors uh, is well ahead of the curve within the listed uh, players. Uh, apart from that, even a Maruti Suzuki, for instance. You know that they are at the back back end, clearly working uh, with uh, with uh, Suzuki, with Toyota, uh, and Denso, etc. Uh, in terms of uh, setting up a, uh, a battery assembly facility in India. When the time is right, we understand Maruti will launch their first product, and uh, finally, even MNM for that instance, right? MNM is also uh, doing its uh, bit uh, uh, on the EV front. They have already launched the XV400, and they have a very healthy product pipeline from 2025 onwards. Uh, so these players are doing very well. Uh, of course, apart from, uh, you would be aware, in two winners, uh, TBS is uh, well ahead of the curve in the listed space. Mm. Uh, IQB is doing exceedingly well uh, for them. So these are some of the names that I uh, that come to mind when, uh, as far as the EV transition is concerned, uh, uh, beneficiaries from an EV transition. And the top uh, auto ancillaries that are now, that still have a long um, headway in terms of EV penetration? So, uh, in terms of ancillaries, I would tend to believe uh, Minda industry, uh, like Minda Industries, uh, are, are doing a lot of work uh, uh, in that space. Uh, uh, even players like, uh, you know, uh, 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 so Sona Comstar, for instance, those uh, those guys are doing uh, relatively well. And other players, of course, you have a Gabriel who is in the suspensions, and they are also supplying uh, quite a few parts in EVs. Even a player like Minda Cop is doing a lot of work in EVs. So, they, they there are a, a lot of these players who are doing. Uh, meaningful, uh, making meaningful indoors uh, in the EV space at the moment, and they, that should continue going forward. As uh, uh, OEMs look towards localization, these players would uh, tend to have a higher share of revenues from uh, electric vehicles. All right, we will let you go on that note. Thanks a lot for that, Aniket. Uh, pleasure. That's HDFC Securities with what to expect this quarter from the auto space. Good quarter expected this time around. Mitesh Thakkar will join in on the other side for some technical trades. The market has cooled off a tad bit. We'll focus on that in a bit.